Am I the Aver saying my stepdaughter is not entitled to my late wife's or daughter's money? I am married to Ashley. Our girls from previous relationships are both 17. My ex-wife was Sam. She and I were never a great couple, but we were great friends and great parents, co-parents. So we stayed very close after the divorce. I was aware she had started saving for our daughter's future education. We had reached somewhat of a compromise on how to handle that. I did most of the spending on her adolescent activities and extras. So all of her extracurricular activities, hobbies, and for the most part, gifts that we shared, while she saved for the future in an effective way. I never knew how much was in the account until two years ago when my ex died. It was then I learned she had saved a hefty amount, and that aside from allowing for her funeral expenses, she had left money for our daughter to use as she saw fit, outside of the college money. Ashley and I married seven years ago, and at the time we had discussed money for the girls, etc. I explained I was not saving, but my ex-wife was. She had not started anything for her daughter at that point, and her ex was not saving either. So we started to put a little by when we could, but we were never able to save huge chunks at a time. After Sam died, money became a much larger issue. Ashley was upset to learn that my daughter had a considerable amount more than my stepdaughter for college and that she had money to spare. It only became a bigger deal this past May. My daughter told me she had decided to do community college in her mom's hometown so she could be close to her grandparents for a while and could still follow her dreams. Ashley then brought up how some of that money could go to my stepdaughter. I told her no. This was not our money, and even if she tried to suggest that it would be mine, seeing as my daughter is a minor, I pointed out that it would be stealing to just take it from her, and I had never contributed to that fund directly, and it would be taking my ex-wife's money. Ashley went off about Sam putting so much away when she knew our daughter had a stepsister and how she was selfish to make her so much better off than her ex only sibling. I told her she needed to get over that because Sam only had one child to think about and it wasn't her job to think about my stepdaughter or even any bio kids I could have had after our divorce. Ashley told me to think about my stepdaughter. I told her my stepdaughter is not entitled to my daughter's money or my ex-wife's money, whichever way she wanted to look at it. She asked how I could be so callous about her daughter's disadvantage. Am I the A? Now for the top comments. Not the A. Your ex-wife saved it for your daughter, not the stepdaughter. So she's not entitled to any of it. Not the A, but definitely explain to your daughter that it is her money left by her mother. It seems like she has a good idea of what she wants to do with it. Maybe talk to her about financial responsibility and all of that as well. I feel like your current wife may be the type to try and guilt your daughter into giving up some of the money or sharing. I don't believe my wife would go that far. I do believe this might not be over with her and me, but it will change our marriage incredibly if she continues to push for this. My daughter wouldn't share with her stepsister. Neither would my stepdaughter. The girls are not close and don't have a sisterly relationship. It's fine, but they are not each other's biggest fans. I also have the kind of relationship with my daughter where she would tell me if someone was pressuring her. Also, please make sure that your wife cannot access your daughter's money under any circumstances. I would suggest to your daughter to change her ATM pin if she has one and change her banking log on information and I don't think it would be a bad idea for you both to speak to the bank manager to put an alert on the account if possible so you'd both be notified if anyone attempts to withdraw money over a certain amount. 
Your wife sounds desperate and angry, and people like that sometimes do desperate things. Your wife and stepdaughter both would go that far. Don't delude yourself. Money is the biggest issue for people. Your wife sees that money as hers. You need to get that locked far away from her and talk to your daughter. Also, just wondering, I hope that every single dollar you put into your stepdaughter's fund, you put the same into your daughter's. It's not right for you to wash your hands of your daughter because her mom saved a lot. You still need to treat your daughter equal. You don't have to match Ashley's contributions, but you need to make your contributions equal. Not the A. I suspect Ashley feels some resentment or guilt that she can't offer her daughter the same and is redirecting that uncomfortable feeling. It's certainly a difficult dynamic to manage with step-siblings, and I can appreciate it's hard for your wife, but that doesn't make you the A. Does Ashley realize that your daughter may be in a stronger financial situation than stepdaughter, but I assume would trade to have her mom back? She is aware deep down. Money can never make up for Sam. Nothing, nobody can. And it's a loss my daughter will always feel. She can never get her mom back. She has her money, but even she says it's not money she wants most of all. It's not even the sentimental possessions from her mom. It's her mom, the one person she can never get back. They were so close. It's a loss I will always feel too. We used to talk about our daughter's wedding. How amazing it would be to potentially walk her down the aisle together one day, to be together at her graduation, and see our baby start her adult life. OP, your stepdaughter has maternal and paternal parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, cousins. Let them pitch in. Let her get a part-time job and save. Let her apply for scholarship. There are myriad ways your wife and stepdaughter can secure her some fundings for college. Stealing from your daughter and your ex-wife's estate is not one of them. Maintain your position, not the A. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this story, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment.